Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are starting a brand new series called Build It Better. In this series I am aiming to improve my Minecraft, whether that be building, redstone, design, planning, fighting, whatever aspect of Minecraft, my aim is to improve it. In uh, today's video, I will be taking a build that I really didn't like and I will be making it better and showing you my thought process and my planning along the way and showing you then finally the end result. Um, yeah, this could range from taking old builds to working on specific styles. This whole series has got a lot of opportunity, I find. So if there's anything in particular you'd like me to uh, challenge me to do, then uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please do leave a like. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And with that, well, let's start and let's build it better. This build is on the Northern Lights SMP and I was really inspired by an image that I saw on Twitter. I use Twitter as well as uh, a few other resources to gather some inspiration, whether that be um, from real uh, life pictures um, or concept art or other things like that um, when I'm planning on a bigger build. And this image um, just inspired me and when I was invited onto this server, I needed to start obviously with a build. And I decided that this image would be the one I'll work on because of how it made me feel for a week. I couldn't stop thinking about this little house and how I could build this in Minecraft. So when I jumped on the server, I just started collecting the right materials. So the contrasting color between the walls and and the uh, defining wood really kind of jumped out at me in this picture. And so I thought I would just go ahead and start it. And it really didn't turn out how I wanted it to. So for me, this build has three issues. First is the roof. It's bad. Secondly, the build itself is just too tall and too flat. And finally, the building style doesn't match the rest of the buildings around it in this area. And so I decided that I would take some time in a creative world and build something that fits the styles better, isn't too tall, and has a way better roof. So the first thing I did was load myself up into a creative world and set out to shape out the building. So it wasn't just a big single box. So here you can see I've started to lay out a couple of shapes next to each other to kind of fill out the building. Then I worked on the color palette that I wanted for this build. As you can see here, I've selected a few different types of wood, a few different types of stone, and um, bricks that work well together. I really enjoy how the tough looks uh, in combination with some of the other stone varieties and um, yeah I think that this is a really nice maybe basic but nice and plain and simple palette that should work in most cases and most circumstances. So the first thing I wanted to do was set the building up a little bit. So I went round my um, outline and replaced it from the wool with the tough variant. This kind of helps kind of almost terraform the building into the landscape. So it's not just flat against the floor. It gives a bit more um, height to the build without making the buildings themselves too big. So after the tough, I took my dark oak and I created pillars on each of the corners of the sections of the building. This should help um, break up the walls a little bit, give it a little more definition, a little more color, and um, just make the whole um, walls a bit more interesting. So they're not just big, flat walls. Mm -hmm. 
after that, I took my birch to um, fill in the walls. And one thing to notice is I keep taking time away and stepping back from the build to check it. This is super important for me when building to kind of, as I progress along, to, um, to double check what I'm doing, whether I like it, and to make changes. And here's the thing, as you're building in Minecraft, it's completely fine to make changes and uh, strip things out and break it down and start from scratch. And that is completely fine. It is creative and you can be as creative as possible. I then add a spruce slabbed floor and lower it down for the back section, which will be the storage room. I then decide to take out the tuff at this point, just because I feel like since we've lowered the floor, it makes sense for the walls also to be a little bit lower. I decided to rearrange the building itself to make it a different shape, make it an L shape, give me a bit more internal space, um, and also then extend the uh, storage room that I had planned out the back. This should make it feel a bit more like a couple of different rooms inside, and we'll see that when we get to the decor stage. So now with the roof, I uh, followed a tutorial for this because I kind of wanted a roof that was big enough to have a second floor, but not too big to cause any problems. So here we've just gone upside down stair with a normal stair, then a full block with a stair on top of it, just to give us that little bit of height and then stair and full side block. I also want to take out the stone here and replace it with um, the spruce full or stair blocks and um, just to give it a bit more of a, a difference from the normal roof just so it doesn't just to break it up so it doesn't feel like the same color same block all over the place and i think that really works in this case So this side room I had planned as a kitchen, so I wanted to extend the roof out a little bit, but also to have it as a slightly more shallow roof. So I do the normal upside down and normal stair, but then I switch over um, to slabs in this case, just to give it a bit more of a shallow roof, because it doesn't need to be have any um, space above. Um, so it can be about half the size in this case. And then on the back, I do a similar sort of thing. I decide, again, shallow roof. Since this part of the build is slightly lower down than the main bit, that a shallow roof will work pretty well here. Again, using the spruce for the main part of the wood and the stone as the kind of definition edge of the roof. And that's it. That's the build. And uh, yeah, let's see how this came out in the world. So welcome to the server. And this is the mm, finished build. There are still bits I'd like to improve on, but for now, I'm pretty happy with it. So let's have a tour. So it starts in this kind of small sprucey kind of forest. I've decided here to use fence posts. Uh, these are dark oak fence posts and then spruce leaves to make these trees. As I didn't want them to be too overpowering, I still wanted to be able to see through and see the house and, and the decor at different points. I then laid out these um, logs as well as some put out campfires on top um, to kind of symbolize some wood gathering in this forest. Though I do realize that these logs are a bit bigger than the trees that are in this forest, I still think it's quite a nice touch. I added uh, the vines on it as well to kind of make it feel a bit overgrown. And we have this pathway that goes through. Now you can see I've added some stone 
cobblestone and mossy to make it look like kind of stones in the area and I've kept the path a bit rough with some coarse dirt and some pods all throughout. As you can see as we come down here I made this nice little bridge. I'm quite happy with the bridge. It's uh, it's out of spruce because you know I love spruce um, with a combination of slabs and trap doors to kind of give it a little bit of a feel. This path here goes off up to our mining area, which I haven't really done too much in, but I wanted to have this forest in place just to kind of complete the build. As I said, part of the reason I didn't like the other build was it just didn't fit. Whereas this, with these designs and this kind of forest area, just makes it fit so much better, I feel. I mean, look at that. I feel like that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? We have the light sources from the... Um, lantern as well as under some mossy carpet we have some more light source and this glow lichen as well as well as the vines makes everything look a bit old and outdated and like moss which is i think is pretty nice so as we go over the bridge the house itself i guess so again terraform the area out a bit more um, the design is pretty much the same but i added a bit more detail i've kind of combined the birch um, planks and the strip logs in the walls just to give it a bit more a bit more interest I think. Now as we come in the um, kind of hallway area I have these two looms set up with some uh, shelving on top makes it look like we've got a couple of drawers for when people come in with some lights and a, and a picture as well as some um, uh, trip hooks uh, they kind of look like coat hooks to me so I really like this entrance with the carpet as well to the left here we have our little kitchen area where we have a kind of top to prepare stuff some water some storage and this kind of um, area in the ceiling just to break up the ceiling just so it's not the same old same old it can be very very difficult to kind of break things up especially because this is quite a small build so I didn't add enough space to kind of double the walls so the outside walls are different from the inside walls and um, so I kind of I like to add this sort of ceiling and um, difference in with the fences and the stairs just to kind of break things up a little so it's not too flat as we continue around the house we have our little living area a nice sofa in the background made out of the crimson uh, wood uh, again, nice picture, plant, some carpet. I put in some bookshelves here. You might be sat on the sofa in an evening, looking out out of the view and grab a book from the bookshelf. I quite like that. Then we come down into our storage area. Plenty of storage on the side. Try to keep it slightly organized. It's not really that organized. With a little bit more space on top for some more if we wanted. But again, it's a small starter build. We do not need a huge storage space. The ceiling, adding the trap doors and a combination of slabs, single and also full blocks, just to kind of break it up a little bit and give it a bit more depth. On this side we have our kind of crafting area, again with some furnaces, a um, little tabletop, tabletop area, and a crafting bench and the stone cutter, as well as a picture, just to break it up. And I think this kind of storage crafting area looks pretty nice, I think. What do you think? As we go upstairs, we've got two little areas up here. We have our little bedroom with our bedside table and our armor here. And we have over here a little library area, a little desk or a nice picture up here and a couple of bookshelves um, and a loom. I always like to use as like empty storage. So it looks very similar, but just without the books. Up here, I did double wall the windows just to make it a little different from downstairs. I used some terracotta here as well as some bone blocks around the edges, which I think just just makes it look nice, a little different. Um, if I'd uh, had enough space, I would have got rid of this wood completely. Um, but that is actually the roof straight away here. So couldn't do that here. So as we go back downstairs and out the back, I'll show you around there as well. Because it wasn't just inside we did some decor. We've got some nice decor here, a wood pile. Again, the campfires put out look quite like little kind of log piles, which I really like the look of. 
And then we have here another hook that's supposed to look like a tap. It was either that or a lever, and I decided the hook um, over like a drainage system so we could get some water out here for maybe our little dog so we can give the dog a drink. We continue with this kind of potzol path block and core stirred as the as the terraforming as the floor here as well as these trees continued all around just to make this thing feel as immersive as possible um yeah as you can see over there it just continues around to here and as we go around the back here we get to the final part of this build which is our little wheat field um i did want to make a couple other wheat, um, fields but um we didn't really we only have wheat available at the moment, so I just decided to make like a multi-level wheat field here, surrounded by the uh, spruce um, leaves, because I had so many of them for making these trees, as well as some fencing and some lighting. So what do you think of the build? I think it just fits so much nicer into this environment um, than the original one. I mean, first of all, I think this roof is a lot better. Gives us space in the ceiling without having too much space and also adds just to the shape of the building so it's not just a big square block. So I think I've done fairly well in improving this build. Um, the terraforming, the forest around, um, I think looks fantastic and it really is immersive when you walk around here and it just brings the building back in. It's one thing that is important is to make sure that the building fits in the area that you're working in that can be quite frustrating especially as you start out because when you start out the building probably won't fit in you'll be probably working in a big empty area and so it can be quite hard to see how that's going to turn out but i think this one turned out pretty well what do you think let me know in the comments if you like this let me know what i could do further in this series and uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for stopping by and bye-bye.